This video is part of a series. Sure, check out the link in the play or link in the description for the full playlist or at the end of this video. And today we're going to be working with again Blender point two or two point seven eight A. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to render out your videos. We've looked at how to edit videos basically. Uh, so how do you render them out to a video that you can upload to YouTube or Daily Motion or Archive.org? Uh, let's go into our video editor here, and I'm just going to real quick create a little project. I'm going to do stuff that uh, we've already learned in other videos, so nothing new. I'm going to choose two of my videos here. I'm going to grab these and move them up like that. I'm going to fade these videos just so we have something to render out. Crossfade, so now I can look here at uh, home. And you can see me, see how it fades from one video to the other. I'm going to add in a color clip and I'm going to fade that. Add a crossfade. I'm going to select my color there. I'm just going to Shift D to clone it, duplicate it, just like other parts of Blender. Select this video, Shift select that video, add, and I'm going to say cross. And then I'm going to set my video length to here, which is 225 frames. Otherwise, it would render a lot of black at the end of this video we don't need. So there is my project. I just did. And we have the audio playing here. And there we go. So that's the short little video clip. Now we need to render it out. I'm going to I'm going to use this little uh, window up here. I'm going to change it to be our properties window, uh, which is the same window you were probably seeing if you worked in the Blender 3D view. And uh, by default, it's set to 1080p. Let's go ahead and but it's set to 50%. We want to render out at full resolution since my videos are 1080p. We'll render out 1080p. The frame rate has already been set to the same uh, frame rate that my video clips were when I imported them, which in this case is. 29.97 frames per second. Now let's, by default, it's set to save as a still image. We want to change it to a video. You have all these different movie options. I'm just going to choose XVID. And under encoding, I'm going to say preset XVID. And you have option to change here, you know, um, mainly th the main thing you probably want to change in here is probably your bit rate if you want something a little higher than uh, 6,000. Uh, I usually go for 8,000. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it at 6,000 now since this is just a you know test render. If you were to render it out now, well, let's give it a name. I'm going to save it to my temp folder. I'll just call it my video. And uh, xvidder.avi. If I don't put the .avi, Blender will automatically put it along with the frame start to finish. So I'm starting at frame one here, going to frame 225. So it will save it as my video underscore one underscore two two five dot avi if I don't put anything. If I put the dot avi, it won't add anything to it. It will just uh, name it that. So something to think about. And uh, then down here, if we want the audio to render, we have to select an audio format. I'll just choose MP3. Again, you can change the, the, the bit rate and volume if you wanted. Uh, that's pretty much it. At this point, we chrome up here and click animate, and it will start rendering out our video. We're getting, you know, it doesn't say how many frames a second, but it's saying each frame is rendering in 0 0.02 uh, seconds for each frame. That's it. Our, our little clip is done. And uh, then there, I usually use uh, MPV or M player to play the video, but Blender actually has a built in player that I never really use. Oh, right, here we go. Control F11. That was pretty much it. The uh, the quality was a little low again. I, I, I probably would turn up the bit rate on that a little bit. Uh, but other than that, uh, that is how you render out your videos. I do uh, thank you for watching. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Uh, and there you can also go to my support section where you can support me through uh, PayPal or Patreon at patreon.com forward slash melex1000. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and as always, have a great day.